afternoon, clap your hands now. The first thing I noticed when watching the music video was, how dull and lifeless it looked. I especially disliked the color palette that was used, too much blue, not enough rich jewel tones. There are very few striking images that are memorable to me. One that stands out for sure, is Yunjin in Yun Chai's lap. I love the beautiful red tones in Yunjin's hair melting into the background. The golden tears round it out perfectly. I think especially with a song this simply structured, I would put extra thought into the music video. Easy could be a great song, if it knew what it was trying to be. Maybe this is something not everyone cares or notices, but I definitely do. There's not a single iconic K-pop song where the music video isn't flashing in and out of my mind. I would argue, a well-conceptualized music video can elevate a minimalistic song to a higher degree. A mid-song is only as mid as the music video, I can always appreciate the artistry behind it. Back to what I would change, definitely need to eliminate those icy blues and muted tones from the palette, opting for eye-catching jewel tones like ruby reds, deep violets and pops of gold instead. Also let's talk about why we keep reusing imagery from Antifragile. I know we all adore her to pieces but, we have to let go. Creating distinct color stories for each of a group's era is crucial. Blackpink reused pink lots and lots of times, but in a much more interesting way. It's usually distinct enough to know which scene matches which title track. With La Seraphim, it's too close to the original. Maybe an artistic choice from the creative director, but it's not something I particularly like. I think La Seraphim are the perfect group to incorporate some fresh ideas for, make bolder choices, and have more fun with it. That's what makes Antifragile so great, it's literally depicting the apocalypse and the girls don't give a single fuck what's happening around them. That's how you make an iconic music video. The most obvious first change would be, to lengthen the song by 20 to 30 seconds. Sure, but beyond that, let's explore how exactly we could tweak the title track into something, that might be more fitting for a song to promote with. At its current state, the song feels unfinished. Not a lot of soul and heart in it. Much of the ideas are repeated far too often which makes a short song like this, feel even shorter than it already is. As much as we like to criticize Ador, New Jeans songs at least offer something to chew on for much longer. Yes, I'm super shy super shy, but wait a minute while I make you mine make you mine. All day every day, blast it into my ears over and over again, no issue. Easy however fails to deliver in that aspect. I will get to the lyricism in the upcoming section of this video, but for now let's focus on the music only. I believe what's missing in Easy is a bit of sweetness. I think it would be really cool to use that as a way to show the Seraphim in a different light, Usually they are only vulnerable in their B-side tracks, while showcasing a strong and unbothered image in their title tracks. Since the song is already very laid back in its production, leaning into that by adding a sweeter tune here and there, as well as some softer vocals, excluding the auto-tune, could be a big improvement. Not everything in K-pop needs to be big and in your face. Totally agree with that, new jeans are proof of why that also works. I was listening to the B-sides on the EP and Swan Song immediately stood out to me. Definitely inspired by Sizz's Kill Bill, but they absolutely managed to make it their own. It sounds incredibly adorable and magical. Especially adore the verses and the way the girls sing on it. This is the energy I think could have elevated Easy in a compelling way. These are some of the parts of Swan Song I would have loved to see incorporated into Easy. <laughs>
According to Genius, easy is about deliberately or accidentally, making things like success and glory look easier, than the exterior might make you believe. A narrative women are most often subjected to, especially women that fit into the beauty standard. In theory, it's a great topic to turn into a song, however, I feel as though the lyricism aren't as engaging this time around. Most of it is pretty shallow, like, throw your doubts aside just say it, I'm the real one. Or, jealousy, doubt, mistrust, now friends of me. Well yes, how very deep of you. Listen, I'm not here to nitpick on K-pop, it's meant to be fun pop music not a dissertation. But I vividly remember the lyrics for Andy Fragile and Unforgiven having more to say, and delivering the messages in a more interesting way. Another song on the same EP, Yes We're Talking About Swan Song Again, does a much better job. The swan imagery, nervously whipping in a pool of water, dancing to survive. It's that kind of vulnerability that makes us believe and relate to La Seraphim. I think Good Bones is a great introduction to this era and explains the concept in a brutally honest way. This type of sincerity is what is missing from the title track. I would argue, almost entirely. Now, to summarize my points in a single sentence, Easy makes vague references to how their success has not been handed to them, but we never get to know what the actual struggles were, leaving Easy feeling rather weak and unconvincing to the listener. The writer should have taken Swan Song and Good Bones, and mashed it together. There's your hit song babes, right in front of your own eyes. Seraphim.